Hi everyone, it's Slava here from Vin Van Cardi and welcome to this week's Saturday sipping session where I talk you through this week's supermarket wine. Ah. So um, people did ask to find, um, asked us to find a Tesco wine, um, but so here's the thing. A couple of weeks ago we did go to Tesco's and we had a bit of a stressful experience. It was quite... Um, soon after covid and the place clearly hadn't quite worked out the social distancing measures and it was really quite stressful so we hadn't been back there for a couple of weeks but we did try to go this week and unfortunately the entire booth section was completely cordoned off because they were restocking so plan b we had to go foraging around the house but luckily we found a lovely bottle of negro amaro now, this is from Asda, but you can grab any bottle of Negro Amaro from any supermarket if you want to join in. So go and do that. So Negro Amaro is a really, really cool grape variety from Italy. Negro literally means black and Amaro means bitter, but this is not a bitter wine, don't worry. So it's specifically from uh, south of Italy. Hang on, I'm going to show you on my map. It's from Puglia, just here or the heel of the boot. This region has a really hot climate, so the grapes grown tend to be really ripe and juicy, and they produce deep, dark coloured wines with flavours of dark fruits and even a touch of herbiness and a touch of earthiness. Negro Amaro is often used in Puglian blends with things like Primitivo and Malvasia Nera, and it tends to add like a really nice deep colour and a punch of flavour as well, which is really nice, but they do tend to make really good varietal styles as well, and it makes a bloody good rosé. Some of the best Negro Amaros come from Salice Salentino DOC, which is just here. These high quality wines are full bodied with high alcohol and flavours of baked and red fruits. Negro Amaro is literally only grown in Puglia and two other very small regions. So a um, small vineyard in California has managed to uh, grow and bottle the grape variety and it's also cultivated in Adelaide Hills in Australia. Puglia is also famous for its primitivos, which make really nice full bodied wines with ripe red fruit flavours. So if you do like a Negro Amaro, you're very likely to like a Primitivo as well. Food pairing wise, Negro Amaro goes really, really well with Italian dishes, obviously, um, but particularly with, you know, spicy tomato style dishes, pizzas, grilled meats, that kind of thing. And if you do have a Negro Amaro to taste this week and you want to try something new recipe wise, check out the second video from Bowley's Kitchen, which is available on our Facebook and Instagram page. And we now have a YouTube channel. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. So check out Vin Van Candide on YouTube for more videos. Okay, so let's get to the wine tasting. Uh, now, I've not tried this one, but before I crack her open, I wanna look at the label to see what else I can find out. So what have we got here? It's a 2018 Vintage, lovely. Uh, from Puglia, obviously. Now, this does say IGT. So IGT means that it's going to be uh, from the wider region of Puglia as opposed to a sub-region. And then if it's from a wider region, usually the grapes are grown at more of a high, kind of a higher yield, which just means they um, tend to produce wines that are simpler and more fruity and made for early drinking. We'll find out. Uh, so this is from the Wine Atlas, which is um, an Asda exclusive range of some kind. Um, I think they're trying to promote trying new things or trying Asda things anyway. Uh, what else have we got here? Do 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 do. Fourteen percent. That just means it's going to be a good day. So here we go. Let's crack this open. That took a little bit longer than I expected. Here's my glass. Oh yeah. I think that's enough now. Okay, let's put this to one side. And let's follow the tasting notes. Remember the placemat or the tasting notes sheet is available on uh, Facebook and Instagram. And if you want a PDF version, send us an email and we'll uh, send one to you so you can print one off. So the first thing we need to do is check if it's clear, which it definitely is. Now the colour, let's get a bit of white paper here. 
and that is medium deep ruby color I'd say. There we are. Let's check out those legs, shall we? Oh, can you see that? Can you see that they're just dripping down? It's almost quite syrupy. So that is just telling us that it's quite high in sugar and alcohol, which is what we expect from this grape variety. Anyway, cool, there we go. Let's do some sniffing. Get some air in there. Oh, yeah, you've got quite intense aromas there of dark fruit, which is what we thought. Let's give it a taste. Oh. There's a lot going on. Woo. Right, so it's definitely dry. It is quite full bodied. It's you can really you can inhale those like fumes. It's quite alcoholic, you can tell. And that is kind of reflective then in the body as well. Um hmm. it's got quite punchy flavours of dark fruits. And the acid there, the acid there's quite high, so even though it's quite a full-bodied wine, the acid kind of like counterbalances that somehow and, and just makes it seem a lot lighter. Plus the tannins aren't really that um, heavy, especially, you know, the high quality uh, Negro Maros from um, some of the DOCs, so some of the sub-regions, they tend to be really, really, really tannic. Whereas this is quite light in tannins, nice and easy drinking. Um, you do get flavours there of dark fruits, you get plum, there's blackberry. There's a bit of spice there from oak as well. Didn't realise it was oak, but there we go. Um, one more sip for luck. That's like a medium finish. So all in all, it's a reasonable kind of good quality wine for price. Um, it is what I expected, you know, it's quite a uh, fruity kind of easy drinking flavor and that's what you're expecting from an IGT or you know something that's from the wider re wider region um the higher quality negro maros tend to be a lot punchier and really kind of they can knock your socks off uh with really high tannins and really really full bodied whereas this is a little softer and a little easier to drink but you've got the flavors there and the color there that you do expect from a from a negro amaro so i think that is basically a win from asda well done wine atlas and um, so i hope you've enjoyed this video if you are drinking a negro amaro or a primitivo for that matter send us photos show us what you're drinking share your tasting notes um, we'd love to hear from you send anything to at vinvancardi facebook instagram um, and remember, all of our videos are available on the YouTube. So just search for Vin Van Cardi. Um, that's it. I'll be here again next week for the next Saturday sipping session. We'll be looking at another supermarket wine. Um, we'll let you know what it is on Wednesday. If you have any suggestions, then please let us know. And um, we do like to hear your comments. So feel free to drop us a message. In the meantime, have a nice weekend and stay safe. Drink your wine at home. Yeah, it down. Mmm. Mmm. It's nice. I like it.